Welcome back to Morgan's video blog with writing tips from the pros and my own writerly musings. Today I'm back with how to save a fizzled first draft. Yeah. For those of you who do NaNoWriMo, welcome to Preptober. Let's do Here's your skippable backstory for those of you who are unfamiliar with NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month and is a community pledge to write 50,000 words or 200-ish pages during the 30 days of November or approximately 1,667 words per day. You win bragging rights and some discounted writing software. While not a full manuscript, it's a great way to practice the persistence that novel writing requires and see if you have what it takes. I have quote unquote won NaNoWriMo several times and I have the rough drafts to prove it. Now to actually edit more of them, well, that's a different post. Last year, I quote unquote won NaNoWriMo, but my story veered off course. I tried to push through to an ending, but by the end of March, it was so far from where I wanted it to be. I knew I was fighting a losing battle. Now, not all stories that go off track are wrong. Sometimes the story takes the lead and brings you better things than you ever expected. But for me, this wasn't the story I wanted to tell. So I set it aside, polished some rough drafted short stories, beta read for a couple friends and read a lot of books, mostly romances. I gave my story breathing room to percolate in my head and waited until now to pull this technique out of my toolbox. So my method to save my fizzled first draft, what you're actually here for, write your query letter. I know, trust me, I know if you're like me, your manuscript is a hot mess and there is no way you'd be sending this thing to your mother, much less a professional agent. We can skip the salutation, the book stats and the bio. All you need is the story part of the query. You know, the part where you describe who the character is, what the main character wants, and what stands in their way. You know, the stakes in under 250 words. Whether you are a planner, a pantser of a discovery writer, just writing by the seat of your pants, or somewhere in between a planter like yours truly, this method can help you find the focus of your story. Sometimes themes emerge, sometimes plot holes. If you can, you might even look for some comp, some comparison books now and see what you can do to both bring out the comparisons and keep from following too closely. Now, true queries only focus on the first third of your manuscript. So you might need to add another paragraph to get you to that true final conflict. But seeing the change in what your character wants and what they're willing to risk is a great way of watching your stakes escalate, your character grow, and maybe even bring the story around a full circle. I'm going to try it this year. Wish me luck. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried this, if you've ever had a manuscript go off track, and if you liked the result or had to wrangle it back into shape. Thanks again for watching. Happy NaNoWriMo and happy Preptober for all of you participating. Bye-bye.